Hey folks, welcome back to Real Estate Investing Unmasked. Today, I'm going to North Dakota. We're going to uh, fix up a house. I'm going to be there for a week. All right, this is for informational purposes only. You should consult an electrician before you try doing anything like this and probably not do this. Um, anyway, because electricity kills, or it can, it can really hurt you. I'm going to, with this one in the off position, I've removed this screw. Now when this is in the on position, that screw is live with 120 volts. Now I'm going to temporarily take a wire and I'm going to attach it to here to provide power while we wait for uh, one of these double breakers. I remember I am in North Dakota, we're in a remote location, so we're ordering um, one of these breakers that's going to be like, uh, let's see, like this one. We're ordering a couple of them that are going to be like that, a little double throw like this, and that will replace this one, and we'll do another one for this one, and we'll do another one for these so we can actually have more, more breakers. Um, in the meantime, I want power in the room, so I'm going to temporarily attach the ground and the white to this bar in the back. That's where those go. And then the black uh, wire I'm going to attach with this breaker. And the red one I'm actually going to cap off because we don't need that one. We're not using it. Um, the person that ran this wire didn't run the right wire. They should run a three wire, uh, a two wire, and they ran a three wire. So, it's okay. Um, anyway, so that's how we do it. We, we take it, we strip it, we plug it in there, and we tighten up that screw. We flip on the breaker, and we're good. Um, black wire there, white and ground over there to the side. If you try to do this at home, you're going to have to have the main breaker completely off, is what I highly recommend. Uh, but once again, consult an electrician because it could save your life. All right, here we go. So now I've got two wires back there. Going in, it's actually on right now. And I've got this one off, out to the side, so I know it's that one. I've got the white, you can follow the white wire back there into that one, and the bare wire back there into that one. That is the ground that is taken outside to the ground. All right, here we go. We got the electricity coming up. That was the white wire here. It's coming up from the breaker. And we have these in the off position. The black wire here splits off and bridges these both. One of these is going to that up there, to the vanity, and one of those is going up to the fan up there in the ceiling. So we're gonna wire that with that right now. All right, this is something I learned a long time ago. Never trust just because that outlet is in the off position that this does not have electricity flowing through it. Now I haven't touched it yet or anything, but I've got one of these. And I don't know if I'll be able to film both of them at the same time because, well, one hand to show is doing the camera. So we'll see. We got to do black and white or ground, either one. And I got nothing on my. There you go, nothing there. And just in case, even though this is the one I taped off. That's all right. There we go. And showing six volts, which is nothing. That's fine. We'll do it even with the ground. And that one. And that's showing nothing. Yay! So I can touch those wires. Safe. This bracket gets installed in here so that uh, it will hold up the light. Now, as it currently stands, I can't have this where it needs to be. There is a little lock screw that goes in the middle. We'll hold that. So before I worry about this little bar right here, which will have to go horizontal, uh, I gotta tighten in this screw and this screw. I've already opened up the wire for that one and the wire for this white one. And I will put a nut on that one because it has no, no purpose for it other than it was wired this way in this house. And this ground will go to this green screw. It's a very simple setup. I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I've gone ahead and screwed in the back side of the bracket, both screws. You can see here, it's got a little lip that comes up away from it, so that's fine. And then these screws, I went ahead and put the one in the center. This one here allows you to rotate it just to make sure it's level. And right now it is. And then we have these screws 
These are what will hold up the light itself, attach the light to the wall. It's just a little ball end. And once I get that off, there we go. The light, which we put down over here. And I'm gonna grab and I'm gonna go ahead and wire these. And then that's where those two little screws that you saw will go in and we'll put those little caps on the ends. Before we go ahead and turn this, right, turn it over like that to flatten it out, level it, we want to attach our grounds because as soon as we do this, it's going to cover that screw. Okay, now we've got the ground coming in up there. We've got the ground from that hanging up there. And one of the benefits is it kind of holds it in place so we can wire the rest of the stuff. So this will push over. We'll tighten up the, both of these screws to lock it in place. And we will wire the white to the white and the black to the black using wire nuts. And then we'll put a wire nut over the top of the red one because it ain't going to be needed. I mean, I twist these first, but it's not necessary to twist this one and this one together first. All you got to do is put them together like that, right? So they're right next to each other. And once they're right next to each other, I'll go in here. Once again, it's hard to do with one hand, but you'll put it in together. And then while you twist on the cap, that will cause the um, twisting to take place inside, just like that. And they'll twist on the inside together until it gets kind of tight. And there you go. The little nuts right there. And put that on. Booyah. Let me do the other side. Tight there. Nice and tight there. Now we just need to put some light bulbs in there and turn on the switch. There we go. So we're getting the first bulb in. Yeah, we don't need to put all of them in yet, but we do need to... Yeah. yeah, we have light. There we go, and it was good. Now, this model in particular had these little bits like this attached up here. And this one, for some reason, had something wrong with it. It was really hard to get it off of here, so I had to go up and then back down and up and back down like three or four times before it seemed like it threaded right, and then finally I was able to get it off. So I don't know... What it was, it was uh, giving me the hard time, but the way it works is you grab this little bigger here. This goes up in here. Now I know that we're doing this somewhat premature because we haven't finished the drywall yet. So this all will come back down again. But the way that these little fixtures are in, these will these can stay attached and then just be unscrewed from the wall. Do the drywall stuff, finish it up, and then probably reattach it. But while we're working, we are working here about 16 hour days. We need the light. And then we're good to go, put in the light bulbs, and then we'll have light for this room. This kit actually comes with three. A lot of times, that's what a lot of the manufacturers are doing now. They're actually including LED bulbs in there, so they can call it an LED set. And uh, that's fine, whatever. Um, it says great value on there, so I assume this is probably like a Walmart. I don't know where the owner got these. Probably Walmart. Doesn't matter. Turn the light, and then we can complete some of the other work we gotta do. We get some more drywall in. So we can put the vanity in. We finish the plumbing for the toilet. go and it is good all right so we're good in here looking good anyway that's how you install a light fixture all right folks so if there's something else that you're unsure of how to install or or what to do um put a text or put a comment down below and we'll see if we can help you out there may be a project that i get invited on or a project that i do that i can teach you how to do something to help you inside your house because as investors, it's really important that you know how to fix stuff. Right here, I'm guessing an electrician probably would charge somewhere between $100 and $200 to install. Uh, and that's not including parts. So this took me, because I was filming it, it would have taken me probably about 20 minutes if it was just that. Now, because I was installing to the, to the breaker box and the light switches and that, it took much longer. An electrician would have charged you a lot. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. You'll see a whole lot more I got for you guys. Till later.